This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I save out alphas I have modified in Spotlight for use with Snapshot 3D? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a bunch of alphas here loaded into Spotlight. So I have a square, a circle, a rotated square, a triangle, and then the Z-Man. So the question is asking about taking one of these alphas that are loaded in the spotlight, and then after you modify it, creating a new alpha file that you can then export out. So as an example here, I'm just gonna select this circle here, and I'm just gonna modify this a little bit. So I'm gonna come over here and just select it to make sure it's the selected alpha in spotlight. Then I'm gonna come across this duplicate option here and click that, so it's gonna make a duplicate version of it. And I'm gonna move it over into space here and then scale it up so it's a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna position it right here. And now with this alpha, I now wanna modify this sum. So first I wanna come through and I wanna extend it vertically. So I'm gonna come across the extend vertical option here and click and drag to extend that up like that. And then let's say now I wanna take this alpha and I wanna frame it to make kind of a chain like effect. So I'm gonna come across the frame option here and click and drag and get that. So now I have modified that circle, and now I've generated this alpha. So now after I have this alpha generated, I now want to export this out as an alpha image. So right now it only lives inside a spotlight, but let's say I want to use it in an external application. So how can I transfer what I have here to an alpha that I can then export out? So to do this, we just need to first take the alpha here that we've generated, and we need to turn it into 3D geometry. And this can be done inside of Spotlight by using the Snapshot 3D button. So with the alpha I have selected here, if I come across Snapshot 3D and click this, this is going to take that alpha and it's going to turn it into geometry. So clicking this once here is now going to generate a new subtool over here that consists of that alpha transformed into geometry. So now I can get out of Spotlight by hitting Shift-Z on my keyboard. And now I can rotate, you can see that the alpha was used and I now have a new piece of geometry here. I can hide my initial subtool, which was that box. So now I only have this model in my scene. And now I just need to take this 3D mesh and convert it to an alpha. So I can come over here to the alpha palette, open this up. And then in here, I can use the from mesh option, which is going to take the 3D version of my model here and create a new alpha from it. So clicking from mesh will now open up the transform alpha 3D window. I can zoom this in or out a little bit here. So maybe I don't want it to go all the way to the edges. And then I can set my map size down at the bottom and then click OK. And this will now generate a new alpha over here. After this alpha has been generated, I can now export this out by going up the alpha palette and then clicking export. And then I can use that alpha in an external application. So that process again is I'm going to go back into Spotlight here by clicking Z on my keyboard. I'm going to modify this alpha again, so I'm going to extend it vertical and shrink it down a little bit, maybe generate something like that. After I have the alpha modified, I now just need to come down to the Snapshot 3D option here and convert this alpha into geometry. So just clicking this once, and this will give me a new subtool over here. I can then get out of Spotlight by hitting Shift-Z on my keyboard. Can now make sure that the new subtool is the only one that I have visible here. I can now frame it at the angle I want. I can now go back to the alpha palette here. I can now click the from mesh option, which is going to open up that transform alpha 3D window. I can use the zoom option again to scale it down just a little bit. I can set my map size and then click OK. And now I have transferred that alpha that I created inside of Spotlight to geometry and then back to an alpha. And now I can go to the alpha palette and export that out to use in an external application. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.